Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today I'm going to experience a bucket list item that I've always wanted to do but never really pursued or had an opportunity. We're going to try some ice climbing, which is pretty exciting. And this is new to me, so we reached out to Dan Christofferson, who is the president, chief operating officer, chief bottle washer. He's the man, and he is the owner of Tool Finger Outdoor Adventure. And so he's taken, I don't know how many people, Dan, uh, so out, out on various adventures, we've probably taken uh, thousands, well, tens of thousands, me personally, and thousands of people out. Wow. We're really excited that you're here, and we want to start out maybe by having you tell us what's your passion for the outdoors and what made you want to share these experiences with others? Yeah, that's a good question. So obviously, you know, spending time outside is something that I'm passionate about if I'm doing it for a business, but what really sparked it was when I was younger having opportunities to get out and connect with people and build relationships. It's helped me kind of from a physical perspective, um, uh, socially and uh, spiritually and emotionally to grow and progress. And I think it's a great way to challenge yourself, whether that's ice climbing, canyoneering, rock climbing, mountaineering, mountain biking. So you cover a wide spectrum of outdoor activities. Yeah, we do, yep. Yeah. And one of which being ice climbing. And in all reality, ice climbing is probably one of my favorite activities, favorite sports. I'm really passionate about it. That's amazing. So for me wanting to get into it, give me some of the basics of things that I need to have or I need to maybe rent on a first experience to, to get into it. Maybe start with clothing. Yeah, so with clothing, obviously, you want to stay warm when you're out ice climbing. And so it's important that you have the right equipment uh, that way. And so you're going to want a base layer that's a wicking layer, something that's, uh, you know, like a synthetic fiber, um, a wool, you want to avoid cotton whenever you're out in these kind of situations. It gets wet, stays wet. Then you're going to have some um, insulating layers that add some warmth. Um, and it's good to, I'm talking about layers, it's good to be in layers because you're going to go in and out of your layers based on when you're climbing or when you're just hanging out. Um, if you notice, uh, I'm wearing a shell pant. Uh, that's uh, a waterproof pant to deal with water you know obviously because we are on the ice yeah exactly right and we get water flowing down we right. get wet um, so you uh, you can do a shell pant like this or you can do a like a, a soft shell um, and then in addition to that um, you're going to want a shell up top and then uh, in times when it's really cold like I'll even have like a bigger jacket that I put on often when I'm belaying like a big a big puffy um, and then of course a beanie right because we know that a lot of the heat that we lose is through our head and through our, our wrists and joints, and so beanie is really important. Yeah. So in addition to our clothing, what do we go to next? There are some personal items that we need to either buy or we need to rent. Uh, what do we need? Yeah, so good question. The first thing that I'll talk about is uh, the boots. And uh, as you can tell, it's different than just a regular boot. Um, the big differences are it's a stiff-soled boot, so there's no flex in the boot, which wouldn't work with the crampons. Okay, a lot tougher than a typical hiking boot or something like that. Yeah, yep. Typically, ice climbing boots have a toe rand and a heel rand where it allows for easy um, attachment for the crampons or the spikes that we use when we're climbing the ice. These can be rented uh, if you want to try them out for your first time or you can, you know, obviously pick them up as well. So you need specific ice climbing boots. Then there's the the, the crampons, these attach to the boots and allow you to stick to the ice. Uh, you can get these in a monopoint or a setup where there's two points, a dual point. Um, we use monopoints um, often, when, especially when we're doing mixed climbing, when we're climbing both ice and rock. These are just a few examples of the crampons that are used, uh, but they allow you to stick both to the ice, but also when you're walking around, you can stick to the uh, ice that's horizontal as well. So would you interchange the crampons with your boot depending on the type of ice or the, the difficulty of the climb? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. And especially if you do what's called mixed climbing where you're climbing both ice and rock, uh, typically you have just a single front point, a mono point. Okay. Um, when we go out, obviously we want to have a helmet on. We get a lot of ice fall that comes down. Just like when we're rock climbing, we want to protect our heads from anything coming from above. Uh, this is a basic helmet. There's different styles, but definitely want to have a helmet on and have it adjusted properly. I noticed as we're standing here, a little, a little bit of ice little that's bit of ice off. is coming off. So yep. a helmet's important? Yep, okay. definitely. And then we also have uh, 
of course your ice tool um, and you can see that uh, the tool is kind of a medieval looking device right uh, so it's fun to work with and our ice tools are obviously designed uh, to allow us to uh, to swing into the ice with your ice tool you've got your pick um, the shaft and then obviously your handle here um, they've evolved over the years to be kind of in this setup more primarily in this shape here in addition to that i will mention that when you're with the gloves that you use you want to have a glove that fits um, fairly snug that has some dexterity when you're climbing because you're you need to hold on to the tools you couldn't climb in like mitts or something like so that so i need to uh, change my gloves when we go up yeah so you want something that's a little more dexterous than that right. okay very good um, and then of course you've got you know all the equipment that you go out with like if you're going rock climbing, right. you know, your harness, your ropes, your other specialized equipment. But one thing is kind of interesting that's unique to, to ice climbing uh, for a lot of people are the uh, ice screws, which are actually a hollow screw that's designed to go into the ice. Uh, we, we open up this lever once we get it started into the ice and we screw it in like so. And then this is what we often use as our protection in the event that someone were to fall. And oftentimes we use these or rock anchors for our top rope. Okay. Tell me just a little bit about your harness. Is this something that I can, if I'm an experienced rock climber, can I use that same harness? Do I need to have something special? Uh, good question. So your same rock climbing harness will work when you're ice climbing. There are some uh, specialized harnesses that are a little different. Um, when you come to ice climb where you actually they have what's called there's a little slot for your it's called an ice clipper where you can clip on the side of your harness a little carabiner or clipper that you can attach your screws to but basically it's the same thing. That's a great overview of the equipment that we're going to need to get on the ice and I hope that you guys do what I've done find yourself an expert to give you some guidance on your first time out. We're going to show you climbing on our next video so we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.